Dominic Mayer's paranormal painting presents some important lessons seen across texture, form, color, symbolism, and so much more. Whenever you first look at this work, your eye is likely to be drawn towards this intense magenta that appears to be pulling, streaming, or floating away from the lone figure. We appear to be following this grim reaper in some way or another. It's hard to see exactly what is going on. The space of this work is quite minimal, there's no doubt about that. That dark blue allows the even darker black to accent upon that and define our subject with absolute ease. Notice how the colors in this work consist of magenta, purple, blue, and black. On the color wheel, this would be an analogous color scheme, so it is quite balanced, yet despite that, the intense saturation of this purple certainly catches the eye over that base of the blue. We also see a sense of texture within this work. We see this everywhere from the grasses or the smoke or roiling scents in the lower region of the work all the way to the upper region where the smoke floats away. This, of course, fades away and even creates a sense of fluid motion to the work, also by the use of form. With this in mind, what do you see when you view this piece? Our subject is clearly a dark figure of some kind or another. We see a cloak most reminiscent of a grim reaper, and upon the top of our subject's head appears to be two distinct horns. Perhaps this is the grim reaper, the devil, or a demon of some kind or another. It's hard to say for sure. But despite this, we do feel a sense of motion within the work as if we're following this figure. This, of course, is implied as our figure faces towards the left, and we see the motion pulling the cloak away towards the right side. But far within this work, we also see the same subject who appears to be mirrored. Perhaps this is another brother in arms going to reap some souls. The title of this work is Blasphemy Blue, certainly points to the symbolism we're witnessing. For one, we have that intense blue base that is absolutely inescapable, but upon that you have the word blasphemy. That is typically a word that is a disrespect or irreverence towards a higher order such as God himself. You could certainly see how a reaper, a demon, or even the devil himself could be under the definition of blasphemy. At the end of the day, I extend the question off to you. What do you see when you view this piece? The piece before us is a product of the digital illustration medium of expression. We see how this painstaking attention to detail creates an incredibly rich composition, and we're just blessed to be able to study it today. This work was also created in anticipation of the Promised Land Art and Music Festival in the year of 2023, so that also is important to mention as well. Really hope you all enjoyed today. This is a really beautiful piece. I love the color use in this work. I love the symbolism. I love the sense of motion and even the minimalist use of form. I gotta appreciate that as well. If y'all enjoyed today, go check out the original artist, Dominic Mayer, truly doing some amazing stuff in the world of digital illustration. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Really hope y'all enjoyed. My name's Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.